The Seven Kingdoms Pub. Brought to you by Team Vizira. Sean Woodward, Marielle Levine, Neil Patel, Brandon Tucker, Julian Mendez, and Jin Longchen. In affiliation with the Principles of Management 3025 class, University of South Florida. The character from Game of Thrones, Star Pub, located in St. Petersburg. They have different management styles. Micromanaging is one of the main concepts we focused on. The target audience is employees and managers, which is age around 20 to 40 years old. They emphasize the use of collaboration in order to run a business successfully. This is shows us the Narius is trying to help Chelsea change how she manages the pub. Daenerys, floor manager. She is extrovert, optimistic, positive, honest, reliable, fantastic. She is a good active decision maker and has a good leadership skills. Tyrion. He is bar manager, extrovert, ambition, sly, attractive, egoistic. His management tools are hard work and high goal expectation. Cersei Lannister. She is general manager. She is introvert, serious. Resultative, unsympathetic, threatening, but she looks communication through whole episode. She needs not to micromanager. Jon Snow, who is assistant general manager. And he is outgoing, friendly, decisive, and motivated. Otherwise, he is an active decision maker and good leadership skills. Aya Stark, she is assistant floor manager, uh, unpowered, careless. Emphasitic, late, unreliable, disorganized person. But she is good at customer relationships and uh, good social skills. Samuel, he is a kitchen manager. We know him as unambition, introvert. Inflexible, but he is a hard worker and good teaching skills. In episode 2, Daenerys is trying to talk to Cersei about her micromanaging, and Daenerys mentions how Cersei uses fear and never uses any sort of positive reinforcement to deal with her employees. It is also shown how this method of controlling employee lowers the morale of the employees. Instead of doing this, the best way to control employees would be to use positive reinforcement as they would act as an incentive for employees to do a good job and also would boost morale and increase productivity. In episode four, communication is shown as John, Arya, and Daenerys are discussing how to appeal to their target audience and who exactly is the target audience. With this, the team is able to discuss ways to change employees at the bar. They also talk about how to market to their target. Due to the communication, they are able to decide that their target audience are young people between the ages of 20 to 40, and also they decide that it would be the best to communicate with friends in order to appeal to the audience. Communication is key in any environment. So with this, 
They will be able to compete better with other pubs in the area as they have a better idea of what their target audience wants and what appeals to them. Management is the art of running a business. The main body of management is the manager and the changes inside and outside the organization need to be noticed at all times. Organizations will become more efficient and creative after understanding management concepts. Management activities consist of four elements, planning, organization, directing, and management. Management is the process of making decisions and improving decision-making skills. It is important to communicate with your group members. This helps members understand what they need to do and also creates a discussion about what the best way to go about finishing the project is. Do not procrastinate. Always incorporate feedback from your team members and the professor. Equally divide the work as this will make finishing the project more efficient. It is for the team's enthusiasm, keep responding. Thank you to the professor and Mrs. Weekly for teaching us and helping us better understand how to improve our project. Your guidance for this project has helped us understand where we need to improve to complete the project and to make it as good as we can. This project helped us understand the management concepts we read about as we apply them to a fictional scenario. We were able to learn about the importance of communication as, what, as we had to effectively communicate ideas about the show and also explain that each member had to finish his work. Overall, I feel as a group we work together efficiently and in a timely manner. We set up scheduled group times throughout the week to make sure we were up to date with what was due for that week and set up submission details. Everyone in the group contributed to the project in some aspect. One thing I learned from being in this group is that I wouldn't have learned being alone is that delegating responsibilities is super important when trying to complete tasks. Delegating is a great way of pushing your group members to develop themselves and for you to develop yourself and your coaching skills. One thing the other group members may have learned from me is that it is better to complete the work before the due date. Finishing work early is an effective way for me to keep from being swamped by tons of homework or work that's due at the last minute. One change we could have possibly made to improve everyone's learning is we could have considered roles for our group members. The assigning of roles would have had to be an implemented a certain way. Roles are taken more seriously if groups are required to report who filled what role in the group. This group project was a lot of work and something that taught me a lot and will help me in my future. One of the biggest things that I have to say to anyone taking this class or doing this project is that there is no such thing as too much communication. Also, make sure to make set deadlines with dates and times and make sure that everyone is meeting them. Bring it to the attention if they are not so they do not hold up the rest of the group. I was worried about this project when I first read about it, but it taught me a lot from the course concepts and equip me with tools I can use in the future in my management profession. Working as a team to finish this project helped me understand how important it is to communicate with others in the group. Working as a team to finish this project helped me understand how important it is to communicate with others in the group, and I would not have learned this if I was alone on this project. We as a group divided tasks that we would all have to complete every week. And while we had a rough start, we were able to fix a lot of our problems with proper communication. While our group isn't perfect, it helped me and the rest of the group understand the importance of dividing tasks and helping those who might have fallen behind on the work so we could get everything turned in on time. I feel we could have still improved on the communication skills, but for the limited time span of this group, I feel we accomplished a lot. This project taught me the importance of getting my work done well before the deadline as procrastinating would make it impossible to have the others peer review the work. While procrastinating has worked for me in the past, I have come to realize that it is best to get the work done as soon as possible. Overall, I feel that as a group, we were able to work together efficiently and for the most part, submit our parts of assignments on time. We were able to set deadlines by setting up a scheduled group meeting each week where we were able to delegate the responsibilities and assignments that were due in that week. Everyone contributed in the group in multiple ways, some more than others. 
There were definitely team members that were more active than others and submitted their assignments and more quickly than the rest. I myself was very busy with my internship, so I'm aware that there are times where I lack turning in my part on time, but I managed to somehow figure out time to do it. One thing I learned from being in this class is learning how to properly delegate different responsibilities and the assignments we were assigned. It was very frustrating having to do a lot of the work last minute, especially when we're all so busy with other things. I think I would change the heaviness of group work in this class. It was hard to delegate and complete voiceovers for everyone without being together. Our group worked incredibly effectively on this project. All group members were participating. We had all our work done by the deadlines that our team leader, Sean Woodward, had set. All of us were equally prepared and had completed the deadlines. If anyone needed help or an emergency came up, we as a group picked up the slack and helped out. I really learned how to communicate and set deadlines when it comes to group projects. Most groups I have dealt with are very last minute. Sean did an incredible job of staying on top of us and setting deadlines, and everyone else did a great job with completing their assigned tasks. I helped bring some ideas to various parts of the project and helped pick up any slack. There really isn't much to change regards to my group. Maybe communication via Skype could have been a little better since we would be waiting a while for replies at times. Besides that, it is an incredible experience working with these amazing group members. Managers or leaders need to be flexible in using the work process table because it increases team efficiency and team coercion. More communication is worthwhile before completing the task. I learned to read my colleagues' reports and results to better integrate them into a team. Let us not give ourselves an opportunity to excuse because it is embarrassing. After I set up a learning goal, I improved my potential competitiveness to my colleagues, but it was not stressful to the team, but more efficient. A good way to handle relationships is to thank everyone who helps you.